And now, the heavens and the earth were completed in all their array. And he arrested this Shabbat day, because he took six days in creating the heavens and the earth. These are the births of the heavens and the earth. Now, no shrub of the field was yet on the earth, and no plant of the field had yet sprung up. For Yah had not sent rain on the earth. And there was no man to till the ground. But a mist went up from the earth and watered the entire surface of the ground. And Yah formed man out of the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils breath of lives. And the man became a living being. When Yah breathed into Adam's nostrils, he breathed into his nose. And when he breathed inside of his nose, this breath went through his lungs. And his chest began to rise and fall. And the breath of lies began to circulate throughout his veins. Going back to Genesis chapter 2, starting at verse 8. And Yah planted a garden in Eden to the east. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground, Yah made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food with the tree of life in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it divided and became four river heads. And Yah took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and to guard it. And Yah commanded the man, saying, Eat of every tree of the garden, but do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil for in the day that you eat of it you shall certainly die and Yah said it is not good for man to be alone I am going to make a helper for him as his counterpart and from the ground Yah formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them and whatever the man called them each living being, that was its name. So the man gave names to all livestock, and to the birds of the heaven, and to every beast of the field. But for the man, there was not found a help before him as his counterpart. So Yah caused a deep sleep to fall on the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh in its place. And the rib which Yah had taken from the man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one is called woman, because she was taken out of man. When Yah took one of Adam's ribs, he was taking the genetics of Adam. All of our blood cells are produced inside of our rib bones. And our blood is our genetic makeup. And this is how Eve was made from Adam. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. For this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. And they shall become one flesh. This little Hebrews is the first institute of marriage. Adam and Hawa or Eve. This verse states that the husband and wife becomes one flesh. This is speaking about purpose, character, and goal. And this is the same exact way we ought to be in Yah. One with him, having the purpose of righteousness, displaying the characteristics of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and humility. With the goal of receiving salvation through the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. Verse 25, and they were both naked, the man and his wife, yet they were not ashamed. Genesis chapter 3, and the serpent was more crafty than all the lives of the field which Yah had made. And he said to the woman, is it true that Yah has said, do not eat of every tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we are to eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree 
which is in the midst of the garden, Yah has said, Do not eat of it, nor touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the women, You shall certainly not die, for Yah knows that in the day that you eat of it, your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be like Yah, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise. And she took of the fruit and ate, and she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made lion coverings for themselves. And they heard the voice of Yah walking about in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yah among the trees of the garden. And Yah called unto Adam and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who made you know that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree which I commanded you that you should not eat? And the man said, The woman who you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And y'all said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Eve knew that she had been deceived into thinking the truth was a lie, and they lie the truth. That's the definition of deception. It's to believe that the truth is a lie, and a lie is the truth. Verse 14. And Yah said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you are to go and eat dust all the days of your life. And I put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall crush your head, and you shall crush his heel. This is the prophecy of the Messiah, Hoshua. To the woman he said, I greatly increase your sorrow in your conception. Bring forth children in pain, and your desire is for your husband, and he does rule over you. And to the men he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, saying, Do not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you are to eat of it all the days of your life. And the ground shall bring forth thorns and thistles for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you are to eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, well, for dust you are, and to dust you return. And the man called his wife's name Eve, or Hawa, because she became the mother of all living. And Yah made coats of skin for the man and his wife, and dressed them. And Yah said, See, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put his hand to take also of the tree of life, and eat and live forever, so Yah sent him out of the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. And he drove the man out, and he placed cherubim, malachim, at the east of the garden, and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. And Adam knew his wife Hawa, and she conceived and gave birth to Cain, and said, I have gained a man. Yah. And again she gave birth to his brother Abel. And Abel became a keeper of sheep, but Cain became a tiller of the ground. And it came to be that Cain brought an offering of fruit of the ground to Yah, and Abel also brought the firstborn of his flock in their fat. And Yah looked at Abel in his offering, but he did not look at Cain in his offering, and Cain was very wroth. And his face fell. Yah didn't accept Cain's offering because it was not of his first fruits, as his brother Abel's offering was of the firstborn of his flock. And because of this, Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. And Yah came to Cain and asked him, Where is his brother? 
And Cain said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? And y'all said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. And y'all curse Cain. You see, jealousy causes you to murder your brother. This is why we shouldn't act in a jealous manner toward our brother or fellow man. Instead, if we find that we are doing sin, we must repent and turn our hearts away from it and do good. This is acceptable to y'all. In closing, Adam and Hawa did have children that begin the multiplication of all men all the way to the people of the earth today, including children in the parents of Yah set apart children's place. And when Adam knew his wife again, she gave birth to a son and called his name Seth. In the book of Genesis chapter 5, Adam's genealogy, genealogy goes from his son Seth. And Adam brought forth Seth, and Seth brought forth Enosh, and Enosh brought forth Kenan, and Kenan brought forth Mehalalel, and Mehalalel brought forth Yerit, and Yerit brought forth Hanak, and Hanak brought forth Medushala, and Medushala brought forth Nemec, and Lemek lived 182 years and brought forth a son and called his name Noah.